What's going on guys? Welcome to the episode today. I got a few pretty rare finds for you. I don't know if they're junk, abandoned. I don't exactly know what the deal is, but I got some awesome JDM legends I want to feature, so stay tuned. So I didn't really have a plan for today, just another beautiful day here in Okinawa, and I wanted to come out and feature a few cars I spotted the other day with my friend Alex when I was featuring his A86. He actually showed me these spots, so shout out to Alex, and I was just itching to get back here and check these out, because I was pretty mind blown, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna start off this video right here with this Fair Lady Z. Look at this thing. Granted, it's under a car cover, but from what I can see, obviously I'm not gonna touch the car cover, it looks freaking sweet. Old 280Z car just sitting here. And I'm pretty sure this is another one because you can kind of tell from the tail lights right here. You can see a little bit of an imprint from the Z tail lights. And then you can also see the, the fastback. Same thing with this one. I think there's three of them here. And they are under car covers. But then way in the back, way in the back, I think I see another Celica GT. Let me see if I can get another peep on this. This is crazy. This is just like a random lot. Look at everything over here. Crazy, crazy. There's no covers on anything out here. It looks like there's infrastructure, like they could have a cover. Maybe there was once upon a time. But we see some catbacks, some transmissions, some engines, tires, you name it. I don't think this is a junkyard. I think this is somebody's um, actual like personal collection, but nonetheless, crazy. Oh my goodness, and an R33 GTR. And then on the other side is another fair lady, Rustin out. So I see obviously the junk cars, right? This skyline, pretty disheartening to see. Definitely has an aftermarket spoiler. It says spec R. I'm not exactly sure if it's a GTR. I can't tell. It does have a GTR badge on it. Um, might have to investigate a little bit further, but it is kind of protected by whatever this car is over here. Oh, we got stacks of wheels. Crazy, crazy. But then over here, look at this. Nice looking cat back. Look at the welds on that. I just want to know what the deal is with these cars over here. I mean, look at this Celica GT. Fix or pass. I mean, the rust out here, I've said it so many times on my videos that the Okinawa rust, the weather out here, is horrible for cars. It just eats metal literally just destroys it. This Datsun Sunny, look at this thing. Look at the fuel door. It literally is just deteriorating, falling apart, disappearing. I think this one's too far gone. Unfortunately, I think the Celica GT is too far gone as well. Such a beautiful car though. I love the hood vents, uh, pretty cool for the era. I really want to know about this Nissan. It has the 400R fender flares. I can see, so it's got a little bit of aero. Ah, I want to see more about that car. Let's try to walk around. And then there's some more cars on the other side. But geez. Like I said, guys, I'm just trying to get as much JDM content as possible before I get out of here. And Alex, when I feature the video, he's like, I know so many spots. So I was like, all right, we, we got to get together. And I got to go out and film as much as possible. But hey, there's stuff under tarps more transmissions, you name it. I don't know exactly what these transmissions go to. Uh, we have an engine over here, the engine gurus. You guys are gonna know exactly what this is, I'm sure. Such a shame to see though. And then these cars, these look to be in good condition. So these are definitely not abandoned. I'm not gonna say these are abandoned cars in this lot, but these are definitely junk cars. So we'll go with junk cars. Some Watanabe sitting here on the hood of the Z. Check it out. They do have a real street performance. 
uh, bumper sticker on that window. Pretty cool, real streets based out of Florida where I'm from. And they are notorious for building high horsepower Supras and Skylines. My buddy David actually went through real street for a lot of the parts on his uh, big single turbo R33 GTR. Cool little spot. I mean, there's a mailbox right here. There's what looks to be like the back of a camper or just some sort of like transport vehicle. Looks like it's got a lot more stuff inside of it. Craziness. Differential, this big floor jack, motor oil everywhere. Hate to see it, love to see it. Some drag slicks. I'm pretty sure this place means business. And another fair lady. Look at the vines growing over this thing. And then I have no idea what this is. No idea. But this is definitely a GTR, guys. And it's got some buddy, well, not some, it has a buddy club P1 wheel sitting on the spoiler. Such a shame to see. I mean, I do see a lot of rust on the trunk. That's fixable. Overall, I mean, the roof, not too bad. The weather seals look pretty good. Inside, I see some racing harnesses. I'm really curious to what this GTR is all about. But it, from what I see, it's definitely a GTR. It has the wider rear quarter panels. What is this thing, though? Here's a dash from a Fair Lady Z. I just want to know what else is hidden in here. Which is right next to an apartment complex. That's Japan for you. Look at the rubber on this. Those things are fat. All right, and there's some more cars over here. And then there's actually some uh, personally owned vehicles that are real nice that I want to check out right here. And the Evo, looking as good as always. Sun shining on it, so you guys can actually see some of the shine. It did rain a little bit last night. When I came out, the car was pretty wet. R31 Skyline. And this thing has seen better days too. Oh man, look at the side. I think this one might be too far gone as well. JCI sticker is saying that uh, it hasn't been driven since 2013, so it's been sitting for a good seven years. Don't know what the deal is with these cars. I don't get it. Don't understand. If you guys have a story or an idea, drop it in the comments below. I love hearing them. Yeah, a lot of the front end's gone. And then check this out. Nissan Pulsar. GTIR, the baby Godzilla. Love these cars. All wheel drive, SR20, top mount intercooler. These things rip. They're super quick, super lightweight, little hot hatch, and they're uber rare here in Japan, believe it or not. And we've got one right here, rusting out for you guys to see. Look at this thing. Some of you guys are always asking, uh, hey, I want to see more Pulsars, more, more Pulsars. Well, I apologize that the one I find is in this condition. I don't even know if this is worth saving because these cars are so rare, so hard to find. The amount of body work just from seeing the left side of the car would be super expensive. I don't know if it'd be worth it. The Recaro inside. What do you guys think about this? It has so much stuff on the interior. Oh, hello, hello. So I don't see any more junk cars, but there are some really nice cars around the local area. And look at this beautiful S15 Spec R. The color on this is incredible. It's got a red Brit as a driver's seat. I'm digging it.
This car is gorgeous. ABS wheels. Got some HKS and ORC stickers on it. Aftermarket tail lights. Little wide body kit. And I love the spec R spoiler on these. I think they're one of the coolest JDM spoilers alongside the Evo 3 spoiler. Actually, the Evo 3, the Evo 4, actually all Evo spoilers are pretty rad for what they are, especially in the 90s. But the, the Sylvia the spec R, I love the third brake light, the little triangle right there. Super cool. Let's see what else we can find over here. And then I didn't really investigate this car, but I was looking at the front of it, the one sitting next to the R31 Skyline, and it definitely looks like another Z car. Fastback. I see the flat rear end. And then check this lot out. You got a FJ Cruiser all the way down at the end, looking sweet, and then a Dodge Ram. Are you kidding me? I have never seen a Dodge Ram in Japan. And there's one just sitting here next to this pretty sweet looking 180 SX. It's got some aero kit. I see ABS wheels in the back. Real nice. Negative camber in the front from my intercooler. I love the flip up headlights when they're kind of like half up, half down. Looks kind of like it's got lazy eyes going on. Super cool, super cool. All right, we're getting back to the Evo. I think there's one more car that I saw when I was driving over here that I want to check out. And then that might do it for today's video. I'm a little short on time. I just really wanted to come out and check out these junk cars and figured you guys would appreciate it. All right, guys, and did a little bit of off-roading in the Evo. It's probably the most amount of off-roading this car will see, but it counts, right? It counts. The look over here. Alex and I, we drove by this uh, the other day. R34 GTR. Bayside Blue, Volk Racing wheels. This thing looks immaculate. And I love the garage. I love how it doesn't have a fully enclosed door. So you let everybody know you're driving an R34 GTR when people drive by. Imagine just waking up every morning, coming out, and this is the car. You gotta drive. I doubt he daily drives it. This thing looks like factory new from what I see right here. It is absolutely beautiful. It's such a cool car to see. Yes, I know they exist in Japan, but I rarely, rarely see R34 GTRs out in the wild. I don't know if this counts out in the wild, but super cool. So whoever owns that car, Nice car, dude. Or dude, it. You never know. All right, guys. Unfortunately, my timer is counting down. I don't have an exact date when I'm going to be out of here yet. Uh, but like I said, I'm trying to get as much JDM car content for you guys as possible. And hopefully, you've been enjoying all the videos recently. I've literally been making it my personal mission to get out and hunt down JDM legends. So I got a few more coming for you guys. I'm just going to keep this up, and hopefully, I can find a lot more cool stuff before I leave. With that being said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and go follow me on Instagram at Captain26. I'll follow back, I promise, and stay tuned for the next video. I'll catch y'all later, peace. All right guys, and I have bonus content for you, so hopefully you're still with me. I know I mentioned in my previous video here that Dream Run is always playing games with me. I come feature cars that don't have any information in the windows, and then I leave, and a few days later I come back, and then they do. So this GTST, I did not have any information. I knew it had some Nismo wheels on it. They were asking 1,090,000 yen, so about 10,000 US dollars, which I think is a pretty fair price for our 33. GTST, especially with some Nismo wheels. Those wheels, let alone, are worth at least a few thousand dollars. But no other information on it. I do know it's manual and overall a pretty clean looking car. And then they had this GTR that didn't have any information. And you guys have been asking a lot about this yellow Civic Type R or EK9 hatch. And it is an actual Type R, as we can see here. And it has 10 on the window, which means uh, 10 is a Heisei year, so you subtract 12 from that, meaning that this is a 1998. Also meaning it'll be eligible to go back to the States in 2023. So if you're just now getting to Okinawa and you're on a three-year tour and you want a Honda Civic, you want a Type R, they got one here at Dream Run, 1,890,000 yen. That comes out to about 18,500 US dollars. I don't see any information with the JCI, so tack on maybe another thousand dollars for road tax, weight tax, JCI, all that good stuff. So maybe 19.5, just under 20. Is that a lot for a Civic Type R? I don't know, you guys tell me. From some of you that actually posted in the comments, you said that this yellow Type R is a Jordan B variant. It was like a tribute car to the Formula One driver. I don't know, I, when I looked on Google, I saw some of them had like a little Bumblebee uh, emblem on them. You guys tell me 
I can't read the lettering up here. But overall, very clean looking car. I didn't know if it was for sale or a personally owned car, but it does have a price tag on it, so it is ready to go. Very, very cool car. If you wanna see more about this car, I'll post that link down in the description below. I'm not trying to drag this out too long. And then over here, we have a black 350Z, 1,280,000 yen. It's about 12,500 US dollars. Black on black, gold Brembo's, super clean looking. Is it a lot? I don't know, you guys tell me. I definitely wouldn't pay that much. It is manual though. So it's definitely a plus. Very clean looking car, it does have a spoiler. I mean, out of all the 350s I've seen out here, this one definitely looks really good. Really, really good. No information on this A86, unfortunately. And then over here, this is not a GTR. We thought it was a GTR, Marcus and I, when we came out here and filmed, just because the front end, it's got the GTR bumper. It definitely looks like a GTR. It's got the GTR seats on the inside, but we were fooled. And I know it's not a GTR. First off, the price, 1,790,000 yen, so about 17.5. You are not finding a GTR for 17.5. GTST, not a bad price. And then over here, we see nine. So that means it is a Heisei year of nine. So it's a 97, meaning it'll be eligible to go back to the States in 2022. So very, very soon. But you can see here, 2.5 turbo, meaning it's got the RB25 DET. But we see here, GTR, 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 GTR. It's got a lot of GTR goodies on it. From what I can see, it's got the seats, it's got the badging, the spoiler, the front bumper. So if you want a GTR, but you don't got the GTR pocketbook, and you're not too worried about the RB26 or the all-wheel drive system and everything else, here's a solid GTST in midnight purple too, which is GTR color. So it looks really good. It had me fooled, had Marcus fooled. We both well, he still has an R33 GTR. I had an R33 GTR. He checked the rear diff and was like, oh, it's not a V-Spec. Well, it's not even a GTR, but they do have one here. Very, very cool car. And that Evo 6 is still for sale out here. My favorite car on the lot. So that's probably going to do it for Dream Run. I just wanted to follow up on this car and this car and this car. Like I said, I always come out here and feature the cars. I don't have information for you guys, but I definitely wanted to follow up because some of you are going to ask about that video. I haven't even posted that video yet, but I know when I do drop it, you guys are gonna ask. So at least when I do the live premiere, I have some numbers that I can talk to you guys about if you're at, if you're actually in the premiere, or I might just put it in the description down below. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Awesome day here in Japan once again, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Later.